Howdy folks, in this video I'll go ahead and update the maps in my Subaru navigation system and I'll walk you through the process. Uh, hopefully somebody out there will find that helpful as well. We'll start the process by removing the micro SD card from the navigation system. So the micro SD card is located under this cover that we can just pull up right here and then we'll have the micro SD card. The way we get it out is actually by pressing on it and when you press on it, it is spring loaded and it will come out. We do need to be very careful with it. It is small, it is brittle, uh, but this micro SD card has the map information. And then we can uh, attach it or plug it into the computer if you do have a micro SD card reader. If you do not, then you'll need to get an adapter, uh, either USB uh, or something along those lines that your computer can read this micro SD card. So if your computer has an SD card reader uh, like this, then you can get an adapter uh, that has a micro SD card to an SD card configuration and then you can use that in order to load your micro SD card into the system. If you do not have that then you can get a USB uh, multi-card reader so for example this one will read multiple cards um, and then you can use something like that to get that connected to your computer. We'll go ahead and download the Subaru Map Update software by going to SubaruMapUpdates.com. I'll put a link in the description of the video. In the future, the, that link may change, so you may have to track that one down. Then you'll go ahead and select the country, the model, and then the year of the vehicle. And then whether it is a single update that you purchased or, or a downloadable option. In my case, I have one free update, so I'll go ahead and download that. And then since I have the PC, I'll download the Subaru PC uh, version of their uh, Subaru Toolbox software. Software. Once the download is complete, we can go ahead and proceed with the install. Now that the download has completed, we can go ahead and launch the executable in order to install the Subaru Toolbox. English for the language, and then it will do the install fairly quickly. And then we'll go ahead and press finish with uh, starting the Subaru Gen 2 Toolbox. And then we'll go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. And at this point, we're ready to insert the SD card so that it will do the analysis of what we have versus what is available and then proceed. And then we'll go ahead and either register if we don't have an account yet, or if we do have an account, then we'll go ahead and log in. In my case, I forgot my password, so I'll have to do a quick reset of the password before moving forward. If you do need to change the password like I did, the default link in the email is not secure, which means your password is not encrypted. Uh, to fix this, all you have to do is you just go to the same website address, but make sure it is HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, and then you are uh, going to be entering your password through the secured part of the URL. Hopefully at some point, uh, those geniuses at the map navigation software will fix it on their server. Once we have successfully logged in, one of the first thing it recognized and showed right away is that we do have a content update available. In this case, content is Map of North America. So we'll go ahead and proceed with the download and installation of the information that we'll download to the card. It will take a while. Uh, I don't know exactly how large that download is. They don't tell us, uh, but we do know it's going to be probably quite a big download just because of the current SD card size. We're at 2.7 gigabytes. So it will take a while. Let it download. Once the download is complete, it should automatically start the installation and putting all of that information on the SD card. Once it is complete, it will prompt with your updates are successfully installed. Please remove your SD card and start it into the navigation head unit. If we go back to the home button, we'll see that the available updates is also grayed out, which means that the content that is online matches the content that is on the SD card. Now we'll go ahead and uh, take the SD card out and we'll go ahead and install, insert it back into the navigation system. And once we're all done, we'll go ahead and Put the SD card back. Again, we'll push it in and then close the cover. With the SD card in and navigation working again, we can also take a look at the menu. Go to More. We'll go Help. And here we'll go to About. We'll go to More. And under Content, if we go to Maps, 
we'll get the updated dates for all of the map updates. Uh, so uh, one thing to know is that the map updates have the date on it uh, one year out. So late in Q4 2017, we'll get uh, the Q3 2016. So in late 2018, we'll get the Q3 uh, 2017 option. So the dates on these are about one year out.